Hello Mech Warriors, Minoxen here with another video from Mech Warrior Online. This video is one of a series where I say let's build it. This episode will be dedicated to taking a look at the Atlas K, parentheses M, whereas I'll be explaining the build as well as reviewing its performance over a series of solo drops. The Atlas K is a 100 ton mech that moves 56.7 kph, as well as having a firepower of 52 as a 1.28 heat efficiency and has 512 points of standard armor. It also has the endo steel structure to save you about 5 tons worth of weight. For weapons, it has two medium lasers, two anti-missile systems, which is unique to the Atlas K, SRM-6, two large lasers, one in each arm, a Gauss rifle in the right torso, 15 double heat sinks, a standard 350 engine for added survivability and maximum maneuverability, a case located uh, with the Gauss Rifle to help prevent it from ending your life prematurely. And we're also going to be bringing Advanced Target Decay, Advanced Seismic Sensor, and Advanced Target Info Gathering. Now let's look at the armor. For the armor we have a pretty good setup here. Most of the armor has been shifted to the front there. You can see 108 and only 16 armor remaining on the back. That means most of it's been shifted forward, which keeps your business end facing the enemy longer. I'm not going to go over each and every single one of these, but you all have the armor counts here, so you can uh, review that as needed. Most of the armor that was uh, shaved off to be able to make for some extra weight was taken from the arms as well as some from the legs. 40 armor isn't a whole lot for those arms, but it does give you enough to where you'll be able to uh, continue to have those large lasers. I mean, all you have in those arms is a couple large lasers and your AMS, so um, primarily hoping that you'll keep that damage centralized and keep it off of there as much as possible. Alright, now that you know the build, it's time to get out there and take our mech for a spin. I'll be dropping in a series of matches over the next hour and tracking the performance so we can tally it all up here in just a moment. If you're interested in watching any of those drops, they will be available on channel youtube.com slash minoxen. Now for those of you who didn't rush off to watch those ride-alongs, let's get to the nuts and bolts of how this mech performed. Okay, so here's the performance breakdown of our Atlas K parentheses M. Out of matches played, we got 9 matches in in our hour, which resulted in almost a 50% win ratio of 5 wins and 4 losses. We had 9 kills and 5 deaths, which gives us a KD of 1.8 with 27 assists. And then also on our damage total, we did 2,974, giving us an average damage per match of 330. Uh, overall, as far as my review on this mech, I would say that it's effective. Of course, it's my own build, so I enjoy playing this mech. It's a good support mech with the dual AMS. Um, gives you some good versatility there. It's a fast atlas with good torso twist and everything else to go with it. So I would recommend it, and with that, I would like to extend this out as a viewer challenge. If you mech warriors are up to the challenge and want to try your luck with an hour in the Atlas K parentheses M, be sure to track those stats and post them in a comment down below. Also let me know your thoughts on the build and any suggestions you might have to alter it. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, then be sure to subscribe. Also if you could take a second to hit that like button, that always helps. If you have a suggestion for a future episode, be sure to leave a comment below and maybe your idea will make it into a video. I'll catch you next time, Mech Warriors. Minoxin out.